Hello everyone, welcome to Coney Island. As well as Spider-Man 2. Right. We're, we're on part 10 of Spider-Man 2. The greatest hits album of our childhood in the top three singles, each of our favorite attractions. So we have an interactive fun fair at our fingertips. A few of these Sony games make liberal use of these types of sections. The Last of Us, for example, being one of them. I tried it for was similar, but it wasn't a fair or some sort of carnival or a town, but it was Drake's house and you could play Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> And for some reason, that level in Crash Bandicoot and Uncharted 4 was way more difficult than the original version for some reason. I don't know why. Like, who the hell jacked up the difficulty for that one level? <laughs> I'm, I'm very curious. Oh, that's dirty. Go, Pete! You're taking his side? I don't root for cheaters. Ooh, burn! Getting back to the mini games of this game, a lot of these are really just point and shoot. Others are just... Kind of a glorified cutscene, to be honest. I mean, you could still interact, like waving Peter's arms back and forth like he doesn't give a shit, but it's really just there for the characters to talk and just, you know, talk. <laughs> Lots of talking. And it's not empty chatter, I will give it that. It feels like three friends hanging out, and that's what I like about this, um, this part of the game. Why let you talk me into this? Ah, stop and smell the popcorn. How can you think about food right now? You know me, I have many talents. Sure. You see, like, what am I doing here? I'm just pressing X to cheer. And I'm not even really doing that. <laughs> what kind of cheer was that, Peter? But like I said, these conversations are half the reason why you want to get on these rides. Forgot how much I loved that one. One more down. The game does tell you that most of these rides are indeed optional. But I'm just going to show you at least half of what's on the list. That way this video is not over an hour long like it was originally supposed to be. <laughs> like, I, I had to cut this part from the previous part because it was originally one one big gigantic episode. And considering that almost half of this playthrough is parts that are almost an hour long, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Can throwing? What am I? Famous baseball pitcher that I can't name because I'm not a baseball fan. <laughs> like I said in the previous part, Jackie Robinson, maybe? That's the only person I knew that played baseball was Jackie Robinson and Babe Ruth. Okay, those are the two people I knew who played baseball. Okay, you two go get declared soulmates. I'm gonna fly solo. See if I give off Casanova vibes. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> soulmates, huh? No pressure. What does this thing know about us? Test your love. It's kind of like test your might, but with feelings. Maybe that you should move in with it? Or maybe that everything's too up in the air to think about it yet? Yeah, maybe. Whoa, that can't be right. What is this thing reading anyway? Our body temperature? <laughs> or our skin's pH? Highly doubt it's that sophisticated. Over here, let's do this one next. That game was rigged. It was rigged, damn it. <laughs> With your driving? Hard pass. Come on, you two lovebirds. Got more park to explore. Don't worry, I got you. Tombstone? What is he doing here? Looks like he's a mechanic and saving the day. <laughs> Thanks for pulling me out, man. It could have been really bad. Maybe we should try the roller coaster. <laughs> Tombstone? Stereo? This park really is a magnet for reformed supervillains. <laughs> yeah. Tombstone makes his return from the first game, and he's actually kind of integral to the plot. Sort of. He's not side mission or anything, but you'll see, you'll see. He's not super important as we see him in one or two missions, but he's there. What the hell happened here? <laughs> Somebody threw something? Oh yeah, I don't want to be a part of that. That was a pretty cool transition there. Did not have to wait in line at all. <laughs> Such a gentleman. 
Oh, yo, Harry, my man. <laughs> Got a woman to sit right next to you. I'm really nervous. Don't worry about it. What are the chances the person Harry gave his prize to would be the single writer sitting next to him? I mean, it would be one heck of a meet cute. Should we tell her? Tell her what? What are you two whispering about up there? Just reminding MJ to keep her hands inside the vehicle at all times. You're not even keeping your hands in the vehicle, Peter. Fuck yeah. Come on. <laughs> the roller coaster gives you another way for Peter to raise his arms, and that's by raising the controller itself. I thought we were past the days of six axes. What is this? But you can either wait for the ride to finish, which I believe is four to five minutes of just this, or press circle in order to skip the ride completely. <laughs> right? <laughs> I needed that. <sighs> All right, fearless leader. What's next? Our last showcase of the night. The muscle up. Oh, you know it, baby. I never did hit that bell. But the dream always kept me coming back. I think this will be the year. <laughs> muscle up. This is going to be the bell thing. <sighs> And this one is definitely mandatory to the mission. What's your secret admirer one? <laughs> Who, Jonah? Nothing. Not a word on my article yet. Still can't believe he's your boss. Let's just find something to hit. Ah, uh, Spooktacular's closed? <laughs> Saved by the renovations. Two swings to test your strength. Bring the welcome. Who's up first? Pete, come on. I can't believe that bell on the left is there. <laughs> I mean, who, who's gonna fail that on the left? Nice. <laughs> Take it easy, Harry. Don't hurt yourself. The only thing that's gonna hurt is your Parker pride. Boys, boys, you're both pretty. We do something more chill. Looks like the Ferris wheel line has died down some. Um, I'm surprised no other pedestrian even took the time to notice that insane strength. I mean, wow, holy crap. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna let you two go ahead and be cute together. I'm gonna go see if I can win a couple more unicorns. really happy it's funny Harry's getting a second chance but I feel like I'm getting one too you two are gonna make a hell of a team <laughs> the bugle posted did Jonah put you on the front page oh, you're gonna be an editor I should have brought champagne Hunters and scorpions and explosions, oh my. Jonah posted the new guy story. MJ, I... It already has 5,000 views. I've got to write a different kind of story. Win his trust, somehow. Hey, you come up with something. You always do. And hey, if you need some help from your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, I'd say we make a hell of a team too. Even if I do forget the champagne. Next time. He 
went this way. Out of the way. Eyes on Tombstone. gonna get your night off, Peter. This is Maz's turn. Your night off is tomorrow. <laughs> as long as the hunters don't have a jackhammer or something. Can't let them hurt anyone who hasn't gotten out of the park yet. Oh no. Harry! Come on, Harry, pick up, pick up! Hey, it's Harry. Leave a message. MJ, Harry isn't answering his phone. I've got my hands full with these hunters, and I don't see him anywhere. Darren's full pot is about to touch down. Yeah, make sure he's safe. And you stay safe, too. <laughs> you know I don't go anywhere without my Simkari inside here. Is that what you call your sable stingray? Still workshopping it. I'll let you know when I find Harry. The hunters are out in full force, and this section can actually be difficult because of how many enemies are just attacking at once. It's like Devil May Cry Spidey Edition. Well, that guy's taken care of. They're moving in on the raceway. That's where Tombstone was working. He's tough. So are these guys. Hunters, start your engines! And may the best fighter win! Spider-Man Kart PS5 with the secret character Bim Riley. Which in this case, Peter is wearing Bim Riley's Spider-Man costume, so technically, Bim Riley's in the game. <laughs> in costume form only, though. A lot of people seem to diss on the Scarlet Spider Bim Riley costume, but I like it. MJ, you found Harry? Not yet, but I saw Mysterio. Craven's Goon Squad doesn't seem to be interested. Like, at all. And they must only want Tombstone. Thanks for the tip! Yeah. I'll keep looking for Harry. Additional units are on their way. Yeah, uh, you see? Mysterio's way too tough for these hunters. He's getting flat out ignored. They hear the name Quentin Beck, and everybody breaks into a cold sweat. But no, I'm kidding. Tombstone is the real target of this whole assault because Tombstone is at least physically dangerous. And Craven wants the more physically dangerous villains. Why? Because Craven is crazy. It's, it's crazy Craven. And he's on the hunt. Now we have nets to go along with the snipers, and the nets are pretty annoying to deal with because they tie you up and that allows other people to hit you. And Spider-Man's health pool is not that great. And that's in all the Insomniac games, he does not have that much health at all. So your dodge game better be on point, otherwise you'll get ended very quickly. It's sort of kind of similar, or at least I find it similar to the Mega Man Zero games on Game Boy Advance. If anybody's ever played that, I'm not sure. <laughs> But in those games, yeah, Zero can do a lot of damage with his sword and his blaster, but he can take a lot of damage at the same time. But those are the only similarities. You got pretty much glass cannon heroes that can't get hit too many times. <laughs> and Spider-Man and Zero are both red. That's about it. these guys, Tombstone. You just worry about breaking through that net. You see the day. You defend me. You and me both, Lonnie. 
But these guys' his boss wants you dead. He's a hunter, and he's making supervillains his prey. It's not open to a call from my parole officer about how I turned my life around. Since he's already killed Scorpion? Probably not. Okay, so Tombstone has stone skin, right? Or his skin is made of stone or some sort of hard rock, or is he just really tough like Luke Cage? Because if, if that's the case, how is Kraven going to beat this guy? <laughs> I'm not familiar with Tombstone's character in the comics or the movies or anything. And he was in Spider-Verse for two seconds, so yeah. Tombstone is definitely one of the more... I'm not going to say C-list character, because he does have a cool design, so he's definitely a more niche villain. He's not like the Condiment King from Batman. That's right, there was a Condiment King, and it was stupid. Pull the spider away, now! I got you, Lonnie! Fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall! Oh no. I'm sorry, Lonnie, I really do want to help you! sure do. Spider-Man? I know, I know. But first, what are those things coming out of you? I think it's my treatment. Oh. 
Dr. Connor said it's some kind of self-learning exosuit, but I had no idea it could... Wait. You know what this means, right? We both have superpowers. Just think about all the stuff we could do to heal the world! Sorry. I, uh... Guess I still gotta figure out how this thing works. Well... It's a real shame neither of us has a state-of-the-art science lab to run some tests. I'll go make sure the coast is clear. Meet you there. Give me a call when you're ready. It looks like Venom is here to take a bite out of crime. Bite out of somebody's ass. Hey, I just saw what happened at Coney. What was that? Well, uh, remember my friend Harry? Yeah? That was him? How? Honestly, no idea. I think it's his treatment he's been... Oh, that's Harry. Gotta go. Hey, I cleared out the foundation. All right, I'll swing by. <laughs> swing by. Man, how many times have you said that in a minute, literally? 